Yuzu just committed career suicide. Welcome to YBA Doomsday. Okay, 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 all right. Stop. So essentially, Eternal Battlegrounds is this game that Uzu has been making for the past five months without telling anybody. For the past five months, he was supposed to be working on the 1v1s rework, the Sticky Fingers rework that he promised four months ago. This has not been the case, and apparently, he's just gone off doing other things without telling anybody. Of course, this makes sense coming from the man who has delayed every single update since the Heaven update. Hell, I think even the Heaven update was delayed, but at least it came out and made some good of itself. I haven't played the Sticky Fingers rework. I haven't seen the Sticky Fingers rework. As I've heard, it's not very good, but can't speak on something that I haven't done. What I can speak on is the fact that Uzu is notorious for this sort of thing. Essentially what this means is that YBA updates at best, are going to be a lot fewer and farther between. At worst, I don't think we're going to get another YBA update ever again. The fact of the matter is that Uzu is either uh, desperate for money or tired of YBA. Let's explore both of those options. Now, first off, is Uzu desperate for money? I have my doubts. However, Eternal Battlegrounds presents itself uh, as a complete and total ripoff of ABA and Anime Showdown, both games which have proven very successful on the Roblox platform. Now, Uzu says, oh, this isn't going to be like any other game. Uh, there, there's no M1 stun. Uh, okay, genius, like I ever trust you to make a brand new combat system, let alone one that works in the first place. Uh, but okay. Uh, sure. This still ignores the fact that you just completely and totally copied the structure and the characters of uh, ABA and of Anime Showdown. I mean, besides Makima, these are the exact same people that you see in literally every fucking all-encompassing anime game on the entire Roblox platform. So there's the possibility that, of course, YBA has been losing players lately. Uh, YBA has not had 10,000 active players since I think the update, though I haven't even seen it spiked that much after even the Sticky Fingers update, which you would have think. In recent memory for the Crazy Diamond rework, YBA hit a spike of maybe 100,000 active players. Uh, the fact that it can now no longer break 10,000 not only proves how much YBA has fallen, but also the fact that Uzu is probably going to be very worried about his cash cow once YBA is no longer making any more money from its players. So I think it is a very good possibility that Uzu is trying to do this, if not completely and totally for money, then because, well, I like to make Roblox games and I also like money. 
Uh, everybody does it. I do it. I like making YouTube videos. I also like making money. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. If that wasn't glaringly apparent by the fact that I haven't written a script and this is being recorded completely off the limbo, if that's even a phrase, I got to jump on this. And it looks like Uzu is to jumping on this trend as Battlegrounds games continue to soar to the top of the Roblox platform. Now let's explore the other possibility. The possibility that YBA players have both been dreading to hear and the possibility that YBA players have been anxious, eager to hear for the past three years as YBA took itself further and further down the pit of darkness. Uzu is finally done with YBA. Whether he knows it or not, whether he likes it or not, I am very, very sure that Uzu does not want to make this game any longer than it's been. For the past three years, he has put in more and more effort into every single update. Because let's be real, every single update has been increasing in quality. No matter if you disagree if that increase in quality has been good because a lot of it has gone to just graphical effects or uh, back-end changes or maybe even just skins. But the fact of the matter is, YBA is completely and totally different from when it released. A side effect of that is that it gets harder and harder and harder as Uzu keeps on increasing the bar and increasing the bar and increasing the bar just so that every time he gets burnt out and tired and just barely clears the bar, if not goes lower than it. That's of course also considering the fact that YBA has been, in terms of player count, dying. Know, YBA has been dying for forever now, but like literally in terms of probably the most accurate metric for how popular a game is, YBA hasn't had the same player count since the Heaven update. And I don't think YBA will ever see the same amount of players ever again. Because, and here's the kicker, YBA just does not make sense anymore. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure games do not make sense anymore. Because the fact of the matter is, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, along with YBA, is also dead. Part 6 ended maybe about, what, seven months ago. And the fact of the matter is that at this point in time, no sane person is going to make a brand new Joseph's Our Adventure game when nobody else is talking about it. Part 6 is hype, even when Part 6 was airing, was completely and totally ruined by Netflix. And so it created a void, a gap in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure community that has never been seen before, and quite frankly now, until we get part 7, the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure community has completely and totally stagnated. So Uzu has himself trapped in this peculiar situation where he keeps on trying to make updates better and better, and just because of the nature of the game that he's making, just because of the fact that nobody talks about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anymore, because there's all these newfangled animes like Jujutsu Kaisen or Chainsaw Man, he's just seeing diminishing returns. Uh, whether that's a motivator for him because of the cash, whether that's a motivator for him because he wants his work to be distributed and, you know, not having players for this game that you're putting all this effort in kind of sucks. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that YBA's player count has been dying. And I think what that means for Uzu is that it's time to pull the plug. Now, he's not going to say that. He's not going to say that, and I'll tell you why. I think he has a very emotional attachment to YBA, as anybody would, from a game that has propelled him from nobody to quite possibly one of the most influential people on Roblox. So he's not gonna randomly just wake up one day and say, I can't do this anymore, I'm not gonna update YBA anymore. What I think he's been doing, what I think he is doing right now, and he's not telling anybody, is that he is easing into it. He's making a brand new game, so that he could focus on this brand new game, because I'm sure he does like developing. He probably does like developing that game. If not a shameless cash grab of a game, a game nonetheless. And I think he's using this other game as an outlet 
for a previous game that is completely and totally at this point flopped whether to a fault of zone for not giving us enough updates whether to the fault of the Joseph Czar adventure community for completely and totally stagnating after part six no idea whatever it may be the signs are there Uzu has been slowing down updates, Uzu has been delaying updates, and now making a brand new game to delay updates even more because he wants to work on that one instead, even though he says, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna delay updates. Doubt it. Can't handle one game, how are you gonna handle two? I think it all just means that it's time to move on. I think it all just means that YBA, as we know it, is officially gone, and there is no turning back at this point. He's not going to try to revive a dead game. What he's going to try to do is he's going to try to put all of his effort in this other game and give YBA its last little pints of oxygen. Put it on its deathbed, but maybe still give it an IV drop and maybe give it a, a new move set or two. Keep the people calm. But as YBA stays in a coma, Uzuki is not going to pay the $300,000 surgery that it takes to re resuscitate it. Uzu's going to pay the maybe $12 a month to keep it on life support. And as it slowly but surely eats up all its nutrients and withers away, we will remember today as the most pivotal point in YBA history. The day that YBA officially died. Now, what does this mean for Eternal Battlegrounds? Because, I mean, I guess it's an okay looking game. I don't think that game's going anywhere either, okay? The fact of the matter is that as popular as anime games are getting on Roblox now, there's a trend with brand new anime games, with every single brand new anime game that I've ever seen, where if you hype it up before it comes out, it never ends up good. Because, quite frankly, you're setting up a bunch of expectations from a bunch of people who then flood into your game at first. Don't get me wrong, I mean, you must be making stacks on release. But a week later, and your game is completely irrelevant because you showed off literally everything that everybody had to see. If nobody has to see anything, why bother playing? You've seen this before with AUT New Universe, with Stand Up Right Rebooted. Both games who are decent i guess but for the fact of the matter is they were nothing compared to the hype that surrounded them before release you'll notice for example um games like that crazy adventure who had no hype whatsoever who had no trailers started at zero players and slowly gained players slowly gained attention like eclipse has been playing it recently because they never had expectations to begin with. Uh, games who start with high expectations and then kind of like subvert them, nobody's gonna bother playing. What this ends up being for Uzu, that YBA is the bleach and Eternal Battlegrounds is the ammonia. Uh, in essence, this guy is about to get gassed by a harsh reality. You can't just make another game that's a complete and total cash grab and then expect it to just fix everything and just move on with your career. My theory is that Uzu is going to update this game for six months to a year at most. Then his motivation for it will drop as well as players drop because nobody's going to be playing it anymore. And then he'll either, I don't know, jump to a new game or just quit Roblox development entirely. I, as a YouTuber, have seen this happen to countless other games, to countless other communities, to people that I know, to other YouTubers, to me. <laughs> I've, I have I made YBA and then I was like, oh, I'll just do Item Asylum. Not <laughs> because you go in with the expectation that I'm gonna get the same amount of players because I put in the same amount of effort as I did with YBA. Wrong, because you're starting brand new. And while some of the players might carry over from your old game, they're going to be disappointed. Uh, while some of the viewers might carry over from your old topic, they're going to be disappointed because you're just starting out, uh, because you've started from zero. And as you grow, 
as you put in more and more effort, people are gonna start leaving. This is the case for just about every creative thing that people ever do, for Roblox games, for YouTube, and every single time it ends in the same way. It ends in tragedy for the developer that is too slow to get with the times and get with the game. It ends in tragedy for the YouTuber who can't catch up with the algorithm. But at the end of the day, I've quit YB, and I'm happy with what I'm doing with my life now. Uh, whether I continue to make YouTube videos in the future, most likely, because I like YouTube. Uh, do I like making YBA YouTube? No. But in the future, I really look forward to making new videos because that's what I've done for the past three years, and I've found a lot of fulfillment doing it. Uzu, on the other hand, might not have a fate so lucky. Because, for all I know, with everything that I've heard about him, from terrible grades to handing out mod specs to people who do his homework, I have my doubts that the kid has a future besides Roblox development. And if that's the case, this guy is going to have a tough time in the next one to two years. Uzu, from creator to creator, get with the times. Otherwise, you're going to be fine. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm actually still in the middle of college applications, so that's an update from my last video. I got deferred from MIT, so uh, I'm not going to be coming back in January, as I said. I'm actually going to be coming back in March, because I need the next two months to kind of not only just cope with the fact that I got deferred from MIT, and they basically just rejected me with extra steps, and it's gonna, my rejection letter is gonna come in, in March, but also probably to, like, work on myself and make this the most productive two months I've ever done so that I can put it on my MIT update letter and be like, hey, I know you basically rejected me earlier, but, you know, when you reconsider my application, uh, look at all these videos I made and uh, look at all these uh, these new projects I made and blah 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 So that's uh, that's news of me if you actually unironically still watch me. I doubt it and That's about it See ya